Hey, what's up? This is Ian. I'm pretty stoked. I I got some uh, cit oh, not citric acid. I got tannic acid. So that's a little dirty. Like it got a little bit. It's a little bit lighter brown looking than that. And um, this is pretty cool. So it's just water and tannic acid. I'll show you the tan what I got. And so I've experimented with citric acid, phosphoric acid. Um, What's the other one? Citric acid, phosphoric acid, and now tannic acid, uh, molasses, vinegar, and what what am I looking for? What did I come over here to show you? Oh, um, this is the stuff I got. So um, it's not cheap. Like this thing was about twelve bucks or thirteen bucks, but I don't really know. I read some university paper about um tannic acid and there's not really a lot of information out there about this other than like supposedly in some rust converters and stuff and so what i did is um like i filled this with that powder i just showed you the small one and i put one in there and then i filled two of these with water like water up to the top poured it in mixed it up and like this is kind of cloudy because i put like kind of the so basically this is this is all like really rusty. You can see the pits in it and stuff. And I really sanded it down with the um wire brush over there. Before that even I soaked it in a a tube I made with citric acid. I'm doing the same thing with like um that piece. So the piece there that I'm you can see all the pitted rust in it. And um, the piece over there looked pretty similar to this one, actually. Um, this one's a little bit smaller of a piece, but um, and this tube here um, is basically just has citric acid and water. Now, the citric acid you can buy at Walmart. It's like in like a canning tomatoes looking thing. I'll show you it over here. And then I just put some like duct tape on the bottom of the PVC tube down there and some clay, like some natural clay we got around here, kind of gray stuff, and let it soak. And you can see like the difference between the two. And so this is for someone who's watching this video and is gonna Google it and check it out. Like now what it actually turns the rust into, I'm not sure I wanna say something like iron tannate, tannate instead of iron oxide, um, but I'm not sure, like I really, Took the wire brush to this one so my plan is this is going to be i'm going to use this as part i'm making a bumper kind of like a step bumper in the back of my van over there and um yeah so i'm going to coat this with this stuff i'm pretty excited about this because this is kind of like what i wanted to see like i've tried phosphoric acid citric acid all these things i already said but this is kind of what i was looking for the rust reaction I was looking for like um phosphoric acid doesn't do this um does something I don't know there's like a rust remover citric acid I think works pretty good as a rust remover and as I understand it, this is kind of more of a rust converter I found a cool university um pdf I started to say I think about how they treated steel sculptures and stuff like that and um, they just tr treat them with this and like kind of like, hmm, and I was kind of like, wow, should I just paint it? What if I just cover it with oil? Like I really get this thing with um, I like oil and I can kind of think of that. I could probably put some of that on my stove. I could like under, there's still parts of like um, undercoating and stuff. I'm going to do that again in the, in the fall, probably within a few months. Um, this stove here, this is all recycled. I might be starting to get some rust in there, but I did treat it with, um, this one I treated with, uh, not this, but I treated this with, did soak. This also has pitting in it. And um, I treated with phosphoric acid, soaked in citric acid, um, and oil, just vegetable oil, soybean oil. Um, so I think the oil... Yeah, it does something. It helps it, protects it a bit. But I kind of wonder, it's so humid around here, like I might use the um, 
tannic acid. Anyways, I just want to share that because um, I think it's a pretty cool reaction. Like, it's like it goes on. Like, you can look. That liquid is mostly brown, although it's a little muddy, dirty now. But you look at the top of the cup, you see kind of this, like a purplish looking color. Like, that's how it turns when it hits the rust. Like, it's brown initially, like the powder. And then it turns into purple and it's like, wow, that's super cool. I like it. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. Um, so again, this is the, I didn't treat this side yet. I just kind of want to see, I, I put two coats on this one. I just kind of want to see how it holds up over time. Anyways, this is Ian saying so long.